In the previous movie, we were using alpha to frequency modulate beta. I'll play a note and turn up the linear FM amount. Now, that's nice to get a tonal change, but wouldn't it be even better if we could make that change dynamic? Well, we can, but to do that, we need to go outside of the dual precision VCO. You see, this is not a so-called complex oscillator with internal VCAs to control the modulation depth from one side to the other. But if you have extra VCAs in your cabinet, and as everyone says, you can never have enough VCAs, you can patch in dynamic FM. So let me go ahead and grab the output from our first oscillator, alpha, our modulator, and instead run that over into the input on our VCA. Then I'm going to take the output of the VCA and run it into the frequency modulation inputs on the carrier oscillator, beta in this case. I'm playing around with linear FM. I'll patch it in there. Now, finally, I want to envelope this depth. So I'm going to need an envelope generator being triggered by the same thing as everything else, driving this VCA. So to do that, I'll grab one of my blue cables for modulation depth and patch from the output of this top envelope generator over to control voltage J. Let's go ahead and put the Moog back in drone mode. Again, we're having just the triangle wave, even though the linear FM is turned all the way up. This now becomes an attenuator on this input since we've broken the normal internal patching. Now to set a basic level that we always return to for FM depth, we use the level on a VCA. Some will call it bias, etc. I'll turn this up a little bit. And decide what root amount of depth I want in the sound. And you see the change in the spectrograph. So maybe I always want to return to there, just a little bit of modulation. Now, to set the depth of FM, how deeply we modulate during the start of a note, we need to increase the CV input, the attenuator, from the envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my drone, set up a very simple one note sequence, very slow here, start increasing that depth. the envelope speed, or slow it down a little bit. Or we can play it manually. Get a little different tuning between the two oscillators. we can choose different output waveforms from our carrier oscillator, such as a sawtooth wave. After the envelope, we resolve to a pure sawtooth. I can turn down the amount of FM in that sound. A very pure waveform. Now we just get an attack on the modulation depth. Here we go. Now again, as I mentioned, Linear FM has the advantage of being very well behaved. It stays in tune even while the modulation depth is changing. But it's not all that deep of a sound. To get those really deep modulations, we like to go to Exponential FM. So let's try modulating that depth. All we need to do is turn down our Linear FM amount so that when I pull this cable out, it doesn't fall back to using the normal connection from the modulating oscillator. Plug it in instead to the Exponential FM input turn up the level, turn down the VCA to some initial settings here, and then let's start dialing in a sound. Get that initial amount we like. Get a little bit of retuning here. So maybe that's the sound we want to resolve to after the initial text died away. And then let's start turning up the depth of the envelope to hear more of a change at the start of the note. That is indeed a radical sound. But you can hear that the pitch of the carrier is changing during the course of the note. Now that's fine for percussive sounds.
And indeed, we can go even further by changing the pitch of the modulating oscillator during the course of that note. Let's go ahead and take another output from our envelope here and run that to the FM input over here. I get some of that descending pitch bend of a percussive sound. But it's going to be very hard to play that tonally against another sound. Indeed, let's bring the original oscillator back in. But what I personally find, aside from using this for percussive sounds, where it's very strong, is that if I use a very short decay on that depth, I get a nice little punch right at the start of my note. Let's set up my one note arpeggio again. Let's increase the VCA's decay. Now let's start shortening the decay time for that modulation depth. Take the mobile oscillator out of the equation. Maybe reduce the pitch bend. And play individual notes. In fact, I think I'll go over to the triangle wave. A bit of retuning. There we go. Now we have a more interesting pluck or strike to the start of the note, which we now can go ahead and layer with another oscillator. a little bit of resonance. A little extra punchiness to the sound there. Now you can still dial in some linear FM if you want to. So let's go ahead and take out any bias offset in this note. Get them back in tune. A very pure attack here. Let's go ahead and increase the depth now. Back to the note, and then we can dial in some linear FM to make the sound more complex. So the dual precision VCO is indeed very powerful, but keep in mind that it is not a complex VCO that allows you to do these enveloped modulation depths internally. You will need to patch in an external VCA.